Okay. Ah, interesting. Should I go hunting for that after I go deal to this guard? Oh, I see. You can go down there. Is this this guy here? He's got this on show. What else has he got locked away? Hi. Night, night. Go on, time to steal everything. I'll be glad when this is all over. Who's talking? A guy downstairs, eh? Actually, let's steal everything and then deal with the guy downstairs, eh? From memory, no one comes up here. I can close the door. Yeah, very tricky, very time consuming. Literally zero extrinsic reward, all intrinsic reward, just to know you've bested the um, computer AI. I mean, and that's that's a that would be a cool thing to um sort of say. You know, I played this bit of this mission. I did not ever once knock someone out, and I just maneuvered around them and took my timing. But Jesus Christ, that would have me on edge, and you'd be clutch saving like crazy. Spend hours and hours just going in and out, getting it right, watching the scene. I used to do that in um, Deus Ex, because you kind of had to be like, watch the tracks, see where you could go. I like I'm nearly always the first one set for me. I like how he snores. Like, obviously the game developers didn't quite realise when you knock someone unconscious they don't snore often. But you don't snore face down either. Snoring is a face up thing. And I know that because I've been told I'm a very loud snorer and I, of course, sleep on my back. Yoink. Hey, yoink. I'm gonna steal everything. Ooh. Something feels wrong. Something feels wrong, apparently. <clears throat> Says somebody random. Wow, you have really got your knowledge on this game, haven't you, um, James? Very impressed. I don't think there's much. I don't think there's many games at all out there that I could say I know at all at the back of my hand. used to think I used to know League of Legends at the back of my hand, but then I just got shit. Hmm. These jewels are glass. Still, it'll fetch good coin from someone who doesn't know better. Hmm. I'll see myself out. Ah, the Moist von Lipwick. Oh. Yes, do compete with glasses. The moist von Lipvig approach to um scamming people. Anyone who gets that reference is a pro. Such loud snoring. Such unnecessarily loud snoring. Well, that's easy ventilation. Oh, something down there. Oh, I'm a guard, so fuck no. Not worth it. <laughs> jerky. I hate jerky. Solder's still...
You were talking about Turkey. Only crazy people talk about Turkey. Ooh, I never came down here in my previous playthrough. Thank you very much for putting me onto this. Oh, lots of stuff down here. Ooh, new letters. New letters. Cousin, I have expect you to join the piles of this to enjoy. I have expect this to join the piles of unsent letters sloughing in the rain up town. Let us pray that it does not. For I have a delicate proposition for which you must benefit. Benefit richly. Ah, oh, jerky. Lol. I, I totally heard turkey. I'm going with turkey. Commenter Mr. Eddie James says jerky, and he's played the game to death, and I believe him, but I'm going to go with jerky. Turkey. My usual clientele, the middle and class, which have little taste and less money, so I ventured my services down the river to a Madame Zazal, a South Quarter Madame. Half payment up front, and of course, is danger, but the fur that has me driven to a fashion quite the piece, cousin. Once deserving of a noble home and a noble purse. Ooh, thank you. Apparently, some letters have hints. Let's let me know. So, for the madam, I made a gilded copy set with the very finest glass befitting a whoremonger. The real money is in the original piece. I'll keep close in my workshop till you find a buyer outside that is reeking the city. The madam and her pet jackknives will never know. Interesting. Jerky perky. <laughs> Jerky. Oh my god, I'm just mixing my words up. Maybe it's late at night. What is the time? It is nearly midnight in New Zealand on... 24th of November 2014. We are in the future, by the way, commenters. We're in the future. Ooh. Hmm. Even though I've knocked everyone out, let's remove all the light. Oh, hello. If I was going to give you lottery numbers, I'd have them for my... Oh, for fuck's sake, I just found one thing. If I was going to give you the lottery numbers, I'd give them to myself so I could do this for a living rather than work. How the fuck? There must be some clue somewhere. There must be a clue. In the back room, is it? Laugh where you want. I would give the lottery to myself and I'd just build myself the perfect gaming PC and I would stream and let's play and do our podcast. Yes, that's a plug for our Slight Eye Gaming podcast, by the way, people. Episode 11 will be recorded this week. And yes, we shall move on with our lives. Oh. Blabbing, damn it. Seven, three, nine. Very good. Very good. Oh, damn it, I've forgotten already. Seven three nine. Yes, I will not forget this time. Seven three nine. Seven 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 three 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 nine. Oh my god! Oh, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Thank you very much for commenters for not spoiling it for me. That was Ah, so the one up top was the fakey, the one down below was the, um, what's that? Oh, I'm really liking this. This is very much up and down my alleyway, and left to the right a bit and to the left a bit. <sighs> Get that sunlight away from me. Where's the light switch for that heathenous light? Oh, not here. I have to memory this stuff in here. 
and a guard. Time to clutch save, just in case he wakes up. Eddie James, the commenter, says he won't wake up, but let's not take any precautions. I might fart by accident and just absolutely drive him bonkers. Like how everyone seems to have s don't step on the glass. Cal glass. Oh. I don't see a glass. Hmm. I can take them down though. Ooh, eerie music. Hm. I do think sometimes this stuff is randomized a little bit. Oh. Something was just there. Could swear it. Huh? No. No, low last save. Gosh, I haven't found another lockpick, and then the first lockpick where someone's like, if you fail it, you'll wake up. Murphy's law. Murphy's bloody law. You at least have to get to chapter six, it'll scare you. Well, I'm not going to get to chapter six tonight. I don't think that's a surprise to anyone. Fortunately, I have work in the morning. And I have a body clock. So, yes. Probably play to the end of this mission and then call it a night, but I will definitely be playing at the same time tomorrow night, which may be a little bit earlier. And if you can't make those streaming times, that's fine. I'm going to be putting this all on YouTube. All on the tubes of YouTube. Okay, let's let's save this after I've looted the place, and then let's give it a shot. This is insane. Done. Oh, don't tell me that. I am even worse than you. I can't do horror thriller in any way, shape or form. Damn it. I'm knocking that bugger out. I'm sorry, mister. I know you said we can do it without him, but I'm going to clobber eight kinds of shit out of him and he will not wake up until it is Mardi Gras. Night-night. Oh. Can you put people in wardrobes? Nope. You can throw them against a the wardrobe. Just like that. No, I can't do scary any way, shape, or form. I was forced to play The Last of Us, and well, that was pushing it. This crisis is a master level lap. Ooh, this is a hard lock. Very clever game design, that is. But the hard lock by the, um... Sleeping guard who is not woken up by me going thud, 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 steal, 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 but he's woken up by. <coughs> no.
No, we had um the, one of the other people who um stream for us, him and his friend Ricky. So Todd and Ricky, they stream over on Sly Tiger Twenty Seven on Twitch and under Sly Tiger Gaming on YouTube with us, and they did the Evil Within, and that was too much for me. Back cash. Find peace. The suit back bracelet. You can always run through it. That's good. Things get too scary for me. I will back the fuck out. Put that thing away. Gosh, he held that in front of himself for so long. No, oh, I will miss the living fuck out of anything creepy. I would deliberately dodge roll. Why is someone talking? Oh, that's right, the bird. Thank you very much for pointing that out for me. Crap. Oh, she can't see me. Let me just take these cases underneath the bird. I'm very tempted to go knock that woman out and see if she hovers above the bath again. I mean, that was just hilarious. That was beyond funny. What are you doing up at 6am in the morning, Eddie? Are you not sleeping yet? Or you've got... You're just up for work. Who watches the Watchhounds? Why, the Baron City Watch, of course! After the recent livestock culls, due to suspicious citywide sicknesses, some may have feared for the furry members of the Watch. However, Watch Patrolman Tollingsworth has come with an ingenious solution. We put the dogs in cages, he says yesterday. Stops you from thinking they're just waiting around to be supper. Residents can surely take to heart knowing that the city's most dedicated gardens are indeed safe from accidental harm. Such a decision truly represents an answer to the weakness of men. I think I saw a glitch or two myself. Yes, I don't think the game's by any chance flawless, and it is game done by... Is it done by Square Enix? No, it's not done by Square Enix. Who publishes this game? I don't know. The reviews for this game weren't very pleasant. Are you a shift worker? No work for another week. Jesus Christ. Are you on holiday? I'm just asking questions in the comments for anyone who watches this on a later on YouTube clip. Eddie James says he is not sleeping yet. But once I drop down, there's no coming back. Oh, I love the subtle indication that, well, you know, why do I hear voices? Ooh. Oh, eerie music again. Hmm. Da 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 da. I should probably loosen up my view a bit. What if there's a woman behind her? Oh, I'm gonna go behind her. I'm gonna knock her out. I want to see if she will float. Oh, I missed something. Why are the guards hanging out in her house? Don't snore too loudly, mate, or I'll knock you the fuck out. Uh, my Twitch stream went down early when I was streaming Dota, so don't be surprised if that happens. Domestic violence isn't cool. Yes, you were very right there. Domestic violence isn't cool. Oh, 
that's horrible. I mean, technically, it's not it's not violence against women; it's just violence against an NPC. She, they've not troped her in any way. She's just as played out as everybody else. But it was just a hilarious glitch last time, and this stuff in front of her. I'm so terribly sorry, but there's things and stuff that I want. Just one by the looks of it. Nope, there's things in there I didn't check. What a waste of an arrow anyway. I wouldn't waste an arrow on an NPC. They seem to have far better uses. Come on. Let's see if you'll float above the bath. It was hilarious. That one time when it happened. It won't work. It won't happen this time, I bet you. It absolutely made me piss myself laughing last time. But no, it won't work this time. Get right up and personal with this. Oh yes, it did it. Oh my god, I'm so good. Oh, I'm so happy this happened, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. I don't know why I'm scrolling through my stuff. She is... She's stuck. She's absolutely stuck. I think it's because there's obviously an invisible wall above. It would look like she's diving from the toilet into the bath. That is so good. I'm glad I'm recording this. So brilliant. <laughs> like the Titanic. Oh! Okay, let's go back to see a couple more things and head out. And yes, I do agree with you. Video games don't create violent people. Video games... Well, they don't always create violent people. It's vulnerability theory. Um, but video games do have a lot to answer in how they perpetuate the... Um, the bad stereotypes they they always show. If they're always beating on women and always using women in those tropes, then just like books and movies doing the same, they need to kowtow and change. Because at the end of the day, there's six billion people on this planet, and I think video games should actually represent the fact. I would love to see some video games where every first, every protagonist is not just a white male. There's like so many other cultures and religions and like different backgrounds. Oh my god, she scared me. I thought she was a person. Other, yeah, stuff that we could just immerse ourselves in. You know, I think we're getting there. Um, the new Far Cry 4 game is the guys from Nepal. And the um, most recent infamous game, the main character is of Akona, which is Okona, Akona, Akoha, of Native American descent. Um, and that was kind of cool, but we need to keep pushing that. I mean, a female thief, I'd love to play as the other one. Aaron, that's her name. That'd be kind of cool. Just imagine if there was an entirely thief game made around her and her actions and her stuff. You maybe release two games at once and you can play as each. Cool, let's continue on to the clock. I've rambled on it enough. You tried Far Cry 4 and you didn't like it? Oh, I'm going to try the living shit out of Far Cry 4, I can tell you that. Far Cry 3 was my jam. I wonder what those little things at the top mean. It'd be interesting to know. Hooker Sims game. What was that called Ledger Sweet Larry? I'd play with it. <laughs> I'd totally make a... I'd love to play a simulation game where you ran a brothel. Get your man hose and your woman hose and just run a, a lovely place. And then maybe you could choose whether you like were just a straight lace brothel or whether you wanted to go for a theme or whether you wanted to be one of those brothels that... Um, only catered for weird kinks, like cross dress. Not, I'm not saying cross dressing is a weird kink, but I know there's only certain brothels that like you know cater for. Ah, oh, that's a horrible, horrible example. I do apologize, but like, just imagine if you had like the dungeon brothels that they're into and stuff like that. I mean, that'd be so cool. Like brothel simulator. Maybe if I ever learn to make a video game, I'll make a brothel simulator. Cool. Let's read the next news story. They made a goat simulator MMO. That. <laughs> that is exactly that. You raise the point they made a goat simulator? Well, they made a goat simulator and turned it into an MMO. That is the high point of gaming, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's a quality. We've reached it. The streets rang with the cries of the watch, ever vigilant against the ongoing plight of the gloom. 
The great gates closed, the curfew was called, and nary a dutiful citizen seen in the streets, captain of the watch, Orsley Durham, called it the most successful quarantine measures to date. I'm going to go for super gruff voice for this. The lockdown is for the safety of our valued citizens, he said, <laughs> overseeing the closure of Traders Gate this evening. And we have the Baron to thank for everything. I can't do the gruff voice. I tried to do it earlier and I think I killed myself. Da -da -da -da, what a truly modest hero of the city. Aha. I want to know what those little, little codes at the top mean. Does anyone know? <laughs> We've Goat Simulator and that's it with one. We also have Mount Your Friends, which no one has ever seen. Go to our YouTube channel. No one else's. Don't you dare go to anyone else's. Go to our YouTube channel. YouTube forward slash profile forward slash Slut Eye Gaming. And look at the Mount Your Friends video. That is the high point of video games, ladies and gentlemen. That is the very, very high point of video games. It beats this game out easily. Oh, we've got another house to rob. Let's steal some shit. No, oh, doesn't seem too much shit to steal on here. It's a bit unfortunate. Might as well stick stick to your accent and go for an Austin's Power voiceover. Oh, I don't think I could do Vost, Aust, Vostin, Austin Powers. I mean, we can all go, oh, behave. Actually, no, that sounds flambo as hell. I don't know. I, I really don't know about anything in life these days. <laughs> oh. The old man remembers the Shellbridge fires. Flames so bright, night became day. Or was it smoke so thick, day became night? I read that before the Baron was born, the city was at war. Read it, did you? Oh, Lardy friggin' da! <laughs> oh, Lardy friggin' da! Yeah, the streets have seen all manner of shit. Fires, plague. Don't forget the war. This is black, alright? More of a squabble than a war. Of course, if our neighbors catch wind of the shit pile we're in now, you'll see your bloody war. I'll see your bloody war and I'll raise you a five pence! It really does set the tone. Wonder if the Baron can do something to stop the sickness from spreading. Meth, more meth. No one gets sick on meth. I have arrows. Just don't know how to use them. Oh, I didn't want to use arrows earlier. Oh shit, 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 my stack. How am I supposed to sneak past these novelettes? Hang on. It's clutch save here. I have a feeling... <laughs> well, I use the water arrows on things. 